Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to another 1v1 battle episode to the channel and in this unit fight we're fighting with our hodelators, our sword and shield unit, our best one that we can recruit. Uh, they have proven to be elite in some cases and just very strong in others so it for me it's a still of a toss up but very strong overall offensive unit regardless 120 soldiers 18 morale 17 melee attack 7 melee defense 11 charge bonus and 10 armor with rapid events so as the swordman they can still hold and fight because of the high morale and armor as well as the bit better melee defense now but you want to get the, these boys into the flanks of the enemy units in the backs if you don't have cavalry and just push forward against uh, spear units that don't have the Yari formation. Always avoid charging Yari formations. That those things are deadly. But there you go. Hodeleiros are a very strong, borderline elite unit in the Portuguese rosters with the mods that we are playing, which are in the description of the video, by the way, guys. And there's also a video if you want to check it out by yourself in the channel. And today we are fighting against the Date Clan. You all, the, the one of you that watched the campaign know I like the color scheme and seen other ones, I love the color scheme. And we're fighting against one of my favorite units of the game, the Sagan Sword Masters. These huge Nodachi Katana wielding samurai are ridiculously powerful on the charge. They are a pure offensive charge unit. 80 soldiers. 15 morale, 18 melee attack, 3 melee defense, and 40 bonus, 40 charge bonus, I'm sorry. This is higher on the par level of elite cavalry in the game. It is absolutely ridiculous. With 4 armor, whole form, which increases their morale and makes them fight longer, which is incredibly important for a shock infantry, which means you don't need to 100% uh, depend on your shock value and your charge and how many guys you kill in the, in the beginning. You can still fight after it a bit. And you have Banzai, which increases your attack and charge, I believe. So there you have it, an incredible elite unit against one that can prove to be as well. So we'll see who comes out on top. And as usual with this matchup, guys, there's two fights. If it's a 1-1, one -one, that will be a third and definitive fight. If it's a 2-0, the episode will end there. The unit that loses will be fully upgraded into the next fight. Look at this huge two-wielding uh, katanas, man, the Nodachi super cool look at the size of these monsters we do have 40 soldiers advantage so that will come into the four but <laughs> let's see how many soldiers these nodachi wielding <laughs> sagan storm masters are the hero nodachi unit and like that they are the nodachi unit the charge infantry so let's see what happens shall we Their rapid event doesn't do anything for us. Mm. Oh my god. They killed some of us. Wait, we killed 30 of them. So we might break. Oh no, we're breaking. We're gonna break. They killed almost half. Oh no. Almost half of us. Wait, did we win? <gasps> we won. This is ridiculous. How? My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. With the the officer still fighting here in the back. Oh, this is a cool shot. Look at that. Super cool shot, actually. But there we are. Sorry, I digress. We won the the Leros with fifty. Wow, um, I guess the Sagan Sword Masters didn't break through our deep formation quickly enough. Impressive, to say the least. I guess if we were a bit more spread out, they would have done enough damage, but they didn't. Our numbers did come to the fore, but they still had 21. So, and they killed more than us. But so let's see what happens when the Sagan Storm Masters are fully upgraded. They'll probably just kill us and then we have a third fight. But let's see. See you guys in a little bit. Welcome to the second fight. This time the Sagan Storm Masters are fully upgraded, having barely lost in the last one. Once again, proving to me the Hodeleros might be elite after all. 
I still struggle with that. In the technology tree, they are pretty far down and they are elite, but I just don't see it. If, if the foot knights are elite, they can be elite. But anyway, 80 soldiers though. But now with 23 morale, 22 melee attack, and 11 melee defense, still with the ridiculous charge bonus and all the abilities. So now they should cut us down pretty rapidly. But I was wrong the first time, I might be wrong the next second time, and the Hodeleros, if the Hodeleros win this, if the Hodeleros win this, they are elite. I doubt they will, because they are fully upgraded, and these guys are just, look at the difference in stats, it's, it's ridiculous. They should cut us down. But again, higher numbers and the gorgeous armor makes the Hodeleros a force to be reckoned with. Half of them, they kill more than half Oh man, that, that animation is so brutal. Oh, so brutal. I'm never gonna forget how hard of that animation. No way. This, this, no, we're broke. No way. No way. What? We broke. Look. But we won against a fully upgraded unit of Sagan Sora Masters. They did break us and uh, they killed a lot of us, but what? All right, I, uh, I, I'll, I'll do what I said from now on. I categorize you as elite. Congratulations. The Hode Letters are elite. It must be because now I'm making sure the formation is four lines deep. Because before, the, the second Star Master would just break through us. Like, it's just ridiculous. Again, the Hodelators are pretty far down in technology, which makes them elite. And their, uni uh, uh, their stats do kind of make them elite. It's just because they're not as good as the Foot Knights. And the Foot Knights are ridiculously powerful. But anyway, 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> the Hodel was defeated, the Sagan Star Masters, the, the hero charging unit of the Date Clan, the charging clan, 2-0. Very surprising, did not expect it, was very close, but they had it. So thank you very much for watching this 1v1, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.